First of all, I would welcome all of you in the lesson number 54 of grade 2 mathematics. What we are studying nowadays, we are studying division, okay? And we have learned uh, how to solve a long addition, right? Without and with regrouping also. Yesterday, we practiced for with regrouping. And uh, today, we will do some more questions for this. And we will also start word problems. In what problems also we will practice some long division questions. Uh, before starting a new topic, I will I would I would like to revise how we have to uh, do division by uh, if we have a big number and we want to divide. So we will use long division method. Okay, like here the Tinker has to put three thirty four books equally on two bookshelves. So how many books she should have on each bookshelf so for that we should divide 334 by 2. so 334 here is dividend because it has to be divided so i write i make a division sign i write 334 inside and 2 is a divisor by 2 334 has to be divided so i write 2 outside uh, no uh, no matter if you have three digits four digit five digit or six digit number but the basic thing you should know that you will consider all the digits one by one if you are dividing by table of two or small table okay so this is three so okay so just uh, take digit three and check in the table of two that how many twos are there in three or how many twos are there in three so it's only one or check two multiply by what number will give you three or near to three but that should be less than, not greater than. Metab. So 2 multiplied by 1, 2, and 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 2 and 4 both are near, but you will consider 3 because you cannot take a number which is greater than that number. Like it is 3, so you cannot take 4. So you will always consider less than. So I take 1, 2 multiplied by 1 equals to 2. Then the next step, you need to multiply these two numbers, two and one you multiply, the answer is two. After multiplying, you need, need to subtract it, minus two from this three. So three minus two equals to one. So now you need to regroup this one with the second digit. So drop this three down and it has become now 13. Okay. Check now with the same, uh, do the same procedure with the 13 whether 13 comes in the table of two or how many twos are there in 13. How many twos are there in 13? So there are six twos. And in other, another way, you can say two multiplied by what number will give you 13 or less than 13, which is near to 13. So two multiplied by one, two, two multiplied by two, four, two multiplied by three, six, and two multiplied by four, eight, two multiplied by five, 10, and two multiplied by six, 12. 2 multiplied by 6, you will write here and you will write 12 because 2 multiplied by 7 will give you 14 and you don't want it. Then multiply this two numbers and write 12 here. Minus 2 from 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Now you are done with these two threes. Drop this 4 down and check now in table of 2 whether seven, uh, 14 comes or not. So it comes in the uh, 7 times. Or how many 40, uh, twos are there in 14? There are seven twos. So 167 is the answer. In that way, you have to compute. Right? So let's move uh, for one more example. On page number 73, this is the same, which we did. So you know very well that this is the quotient, do your answer is a quotient and this is your reminder, okay? Okay, this is question now guys, 34 and 337, okay? 34 and 337. You have to solve it and you have to fill these boxes and you have to write the reminder also, okay? So I will do the B first. It's 337. 
337 divided by 3. This is, I'm first doing question number B, 1B. 337 divided by 3, okay? I will take this and draw a line, okay? I need to raise this. All right. So again, 337 guys, you have to consider only one digit, three. So tell me, how many threes are there in three? Yes. How many threes are there in three? One. Or three one. multiplied by what number will give you three? One. 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 So one. I will write here one. I will write here one. One. Okay. Two. I write here one. Right? Now, what is the next step? What should I do now? One by three, three. Very good. I should multiply yes. this three by this one. Very yes. Good. Equals the three. Very good. Three minus the three by three. So one I'll by write three equals three. One by three. I multiply this three by this one and I get three. Okay. What is the next step? Now what to do? Minus. Minus. Three minus three, 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 zero. Zero. three, zero. three. Zero, zero. 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 Okay. Zero. Now, three zero. Three is go down. Zero. Very good. This three go down. Okay, now. Zero. 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 Abdul Aziz Muhammad. Yes. Can you tell me what to do now? Yes. Mm. This is three now. Again, check the table of three. Whether three comes in the table of three or not. Three. Seven. How many threes are there in three? Check this. This is also three. Three multiplied by what number will give you three? One minute. Yes? Yes. Uh, one. One, very good. Why are you thinking too much? So we should write one where? Yes. I should write one here. Yes. Okay, I write one here. Now what to do? What is the next step? I multiply this three by this one, right? Yeah. So I will three multiply by one equals two, three. Three. I don't need to write this zero. Three multiplied by three equals two. Three. Three. No one one. Three multiplied by one equals to three. Now do subtraction. Three minus three equals to zero. Right? Zero. Yeah. yeah. Put the seven down. Don't need to write the zero. Put this seven down. Okay. You can write zero even. If you want. Yes, three minus the three equals to zero and this is seven now. Does three does seven come in the table of three? How many threes are there in seven? 
Seven. Yes, how many threes are there in seven? And multiply. Check the table of three, three multiplied by one, three, three multiplied by two, six, three multiplied by three, nine. Twenty-one. I'm not saying multiply three by seven. I'm saying check the table of three, whether seven comes in the table of three or not. Yes, come. No, it doesn't. You will have to go for the less than. If any number doesn't come in the table of divisor, so go for the less than. Three multiplied by one equals to three, and three multiplied by two equals to. Three multiplied by two. One. Let me let me open all the mics. Yes, guys. How many threes are there in seven? Two. Two. Very good. Two. Very good. Very good. Two. Two. The answer is two. Very good. There are trees in seven. Two. Two. Now, three multiplied by two equals to what? Six. 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 Very good. Six. Six. How I have solved it? This was three thirty-seven, and we have to divide it by three. Okay. I take this three and check how many threes are there in three, or three multiplied by what number will give me three? So this is only one. How many threes are there in three? Only one. Or three multiplied by one equals to three, right? Now you multiply this three by this one. Three multiplied by one equals to three, and you write there. Now you minus three minus three equals to zero, and you drop this three down. So it is also now three. Again, three multiplied by what number will give you three? One. So you again write one, and you multiply, and you write here. Again, you minus three minus three again zero. Then you write this seven down, and now it's time to check seven. Whether seven comes in the table of three, you check the table of three. Three multiplied by one, three. Three multiplied by two, six. Three multiplied by three, nine. No, it doesn't come. So what what you have to do when a number doesn't come in the table of divisor, you will go for less than. You will consider less than and nearest to that number. So if seven doesn't come, you check the table of three. Which number comes in the table of three, which is nearest to seven? So three multiplied by one, three. Three multiplied by two, six. Three multiplied by three, nine. So six and nine are close, close. But nine is greater than. You have to consider less than. So you will consider six. How many times you multiply three to get six? Two times. So you write two in the quotient, and then you multiply this three by two, and the answer is six. You write six here. The next last step is to subtract. Now seven minus six equals two one. You don't have any other number. If you had any other number, you can drop it down and you can solve more. But you don't have any other number, so th this is your answer. Okay, this number is known as your remainder. This number is known as quotient. This is division, and this is this is divisor. So this is the question number B. Now, how you will solve it? Here you will write one, one, two, three. Zero. In that way, you have to solve. Okay. I tell you how to write it. This is three.
this is three. Complete this B cap, guys. From uh, look here and complete it. Okay, you can write what you need to write here. I'm telling you how you have to write. Write three here, zero here. This is the complete division. Check this division and write here. Okay, I'm just writing the answer. The answer is one. One. Two. One, one, two. And what is reminder? Reminder is the number which is left here. That's one. So you will write one. This is the answer. Okay. Here, three minus three, zero. 3 minus 3, 0, 7 minus 6, 1. Complete it, guys, by yourself. Any problem, guys? No! No! No, no sir! No! No, sir! No! No! no, sir. no. 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 Yes, can you complete part A by yourself? Can you yes, complete sir. part A by yourself? Yes. No, 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 sir. no, no. Yes, yes. Guys, can you complete part A by yourself? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yes, what question you have? Why we, why we don't finish? There is something not to understand. I did not get it. Sharif, your voice is not clear. I can't understand. Yes. Your voice is not clear at all. Hello? Hello? Yes, ask what you want to ask. Where are you? Okay. Let's see. Yes. I say, Even I'm not getting Sharif. I can't hear you. Well, I know you're I say, okay. I say, why is we not on? Look down, down. Did you write the answer? Yeah. But, but uh, where is the answer? You don't answer. Uh, you don't solve the dead. That is that paper. That is finished. Why? You don't solve it. Uh, why I don't? I solve this. Can't you see? This is the whole question solved. Yeah. Yeah. So solve it also. If you write, if you finish the answer, solve it here in the page. Do you understand it or not? I understand it. Then don't tell me how to teach. Okay? If you have question, then ask. If you did not get yeah. anything, then yeah, ask. I... What you did not get, tell me. Okay. I, I get it, but there is something I'm sorry I'm in the page. Where is it? You write the answer only, not, not the three. Uh, uh, 
send the message in the chat i will see you okay i am opening the chat i hope guys you understand it right complete part a by yourself and write the answer okay complete part a by yourself and write the answer is 34 divided by 3 34 divided by 3 okay check the 3 Uh, three multiplied by what number will give you three? Right here. Then multiply these two numbers. Write down. You have to tell me the answer and the remainder. Yes. Okay. Can I erase this division, guys? Okay, I'm not erasing, but I need to. This is thirty-four by three. I'm doing for some students here, but you have to do by yourself. The question is thirty-four divided by three. This is the question, right? Thirty-four divided by three. Okay, I'm not. I'm not erasing. All right, guys. This is thirty-four divided by three. Now stop. Stop sending the message in the chat. Okay. Listen carefully. Oh my God! This is thirty-four minus three. Take only three. Check three multiplied by what number will give you three? I'm going to take one participant, and that can be. Os, Os, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. I want to divide thirty-four by three. Okay. So the first digit is three. Three multiplied by what number will give you three? Three multiplied by three. Consider this three only. Three multiplied by what number will give you three? Yes. One, one. one. So you will draw. You will write one. One up here, right? Now. Yes, sir. Okay. Now what you will do? Three minus three. Three multiply by one equals to three. You will write three down. You multiply and write it down, right? Three down. Three down three. Okay, now, now what you will do? What number zero? Three minus three equals to zero. Very good. Okay, now, now what you will do? Yes. Yes, you will write this four down now. Okay, this three you done. You will write this four down. Okay. Now check in four how many threes are there, or three multiplied by what number will give you four? Two. Sorry. Two. No, three multiplied by two will give you six. Three 
3 multiplied by 1 equals to 3, 3 multiplied by 2 equals to 6. So there is no 4 in the table of 3. So you will consider for less than, okay? You multiply 3 by 1. You multiply 3 by 1 because you have to take less than. How many 3s are there in 4? There is only one 3. Then you will write it down and subtract it. 4 minus 3 equals to what? One. One. Now, do you have any other uh, another number to drop it down? Do you have number any? Do you have no. To drop it down. So this is the answer. Okay. This one is your reminder. This is your quotient. I'll repeat for you guys how I have solved. So guys, this was thirty-four divided by three. Okay. I write thirty-four and divided by 3 because I have to divide by three, uh, 3 so I write 3 outside. Consider the first digit first. It is 3. Check the table of the divisor. 3 multiplied by what number will give you 3? So that's 1. Write 1 here. Multiply this 3 by 1, 3 by 3, 3 by 1, 3. Then subtract it. 3 minus 3 equals to 0. You're done with this 0. Now write this 4 down. When you write this 4 down, check the table of 3. Is there 4 in the table of 3? No. When you multiply 3 by 1, so you get 3. And you, when you multiply it by 2, so you get 6. So 3 by 1 equals to 3. And 3 by 2 equals to 6. So you will not consider 6 because 6 is greater than. You have to consider for less, less than. So 3 multiplied by 1, you write 3. Okay, so you write here and then you minus four minus three equals to one. So the answer is 11. When you divide 34 by three, so you will get 11 and you will get also one reminder. So this is your quotient and this is your reminder. So what you will write here, you will write one, one, and here also one, and you will solve the same here. like this. This is your answer. 11. It's 11. Right, one here. One here. And this is also one. Okay, now write three minus what number? Three here. And three minus three equals to zero here. Four down. And again, three. And one. Down. In this way, you have to solve. Okay? If you have any problem, you can look at this division. Yes, guys. Any problem in the long division? Yes? No. Yeah. No. 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 No
No problem. Yes. No problem. No 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 Next, we have to start, guys. Word problems. Okay. So, in the word problems, let's suppose this is question six thirty-two bookmarks. Please close your mics, guys. Six thirty-two bookmarks were given out equally to three classes. Okay. So, how many bookmarks? Did each class receive? So there are how many total bookmarks are there? There are total six thirty-two bookmarks, and there's that book uh, bookmarks has to be divided equally into three classes. Okay, so how much or how many bookmarks were left? The question is asking how many bookmarks were left. So uh, this. means they are asking for remainder okay what you will do you will divide first 632 by 3 so that you will know that one class will take how many bookmarks okay then whatever your remainder is that will be your answer so for that you will follow the same thing do the division look here as the division is done 632 right inside 3 outside 3 multiply by 2 equals to 6 so that's why you write 2 here then multiply here and write 6 here subtract 6 minus 6 equals to 0 now you're done with this 6 come to this 3 write drop it down and check again in the table of 3 is there 3 yes how many times one time write one multiply this 3 by 1 and you get 3 multiplied by 1 equals to 3 subtract again 3 minus 3 equals to 0 right and in that way you have to solve we will solve it guys this co this question inshallah tomorrow in here the next we have on page number 75 some word problems we will solve this too and then we will move to the testing zone but today i'm going to give you some homework you have to write your homework what is your homework mm. question number 1 and question number 2 question 1 and question 2 page number 77 testing zoom this is your homework guys complete this homework question number 1 and question number 2 is your homework guys you have to complete it and this is the end of your class inshallah I'll meet you tomorrow take care bye bye i'll see you in the next class